Chuck Amritz, this video was meant to be really positive because I was offered a brand new, super powerful Core i9 mini PC. I unboxed it, it looked uh, really good, it was really small, even smaller than the latest model. But then I turned it on and I found out it is not working. It gave me this error, a computer encountered an unexpected error, Windows installation can proceed. I click OK and then again same error message popped up. That means it was basically like a boot loop. I wrote them an email, what should I do at 14th of September? And then 10 days later I have received an answer. And this is the answer, good day, thank you for your patience. This error is due to the loss of system files. We ask our technical department to upload the system files. Can you try to refresh the system files? If you encounter any problems, please feel free to tell me at any time. To this email I have replied, yes I can try that, how can I do that please? Because I haven't done anything like that previously, so I was expecting they gonna provide me with some kind of step-by-step -step tutorial. But they haven't. My reply was at 29th of September, and to this day, today is 15th of October, I haven't received any kind of answer whatsoever. And that brings us to this moment, here and now, when I'm recording this video. I could have googled the answer and tried to refresh the mini PC myself. Yes, I could have put an effort in, but I haven't. Why not? Because this was my exactly fourth mini PC from Geekom. And believe it or not, but every single one of them came with some kind of fault. First one came with uh, unplugged fan cable, so it was overheating. Second came with outdated fan driver, so the driver was not working and it was again overheating. Third one came with the hardware fault. Power button wasn't switching on the mini PC, so, you know, I couldn't make it to work. That is three out of three. I thought to myself, okay, that can... I don't know how, but that can happen, but now, 4 out of 4, what's the probability of that? I don't know, but it's a really low probability, I'm sure about that. 4th mini PC with non-flashed windows. I mean, they either have very bad or non-functioning quality control department, or they are doing it intentionally. And based on the vibes I'm getting out of all of this, and on the 4 out of 4 chance, I would say it's the second option. To their credit, they wanted to exchange the third faulty mini PC with the power button, but I managed to make it work somewhat with their video tutorial. And I didn't want it to deal with um, DHL yet again, because their drivers are not really reliable. I'm talking from personal experience. So now, fault mini PC, non-functional again. And I was like, nobody tried to, I don't know, switch it on or something. I would say, they tried and they knew it's not working. The non-existing reply also kind of suggests it. I was thinking about it and I think there is a high chance the customer sent this exact mini PC to them back, returned it as faulty and they sent it to me for a review because they thought, ah, oh, you know, this guy is going to be able to fix it and make an encouraging review. I do not know where is the truth. I do not have any ill will towards the company. We agreed on making a video of a product they sent me. So that's basically what we are doing in here. We are doing a review of Geekom GT13 Pro. It looks good, it's really small, but it doesn't work. Here is the box. Geekom GT13 Pro with Intel Core i9, 13900H, 32 gigs of RAM and 2 terabyte of M.2 storage. This is how it looks. I kind of dig the design. From the front there are two USBs, headphone jack and power button, micro SD slot, nothing from the right side and from the rear side are all the ports, two HDMI's, two USB-C's, two USB-A, wired Ethernet and power brick. Inside of box we have some papers dear customer thank you for purchasing our products to make your daily life easier we hope they do the job well yes for sure here are all the ports here is how you can open it here is ssd also looks like there are two m.2 ssds ddr4 ram and the power brick the power brick is quite small i actually like it here I'm comparing it with the power brick from the latest model and as you can see it's much thicker and overall larger. 
Inside the box there is also HDMI and this uh, VESA mount, I believe. And here is it compared to their latest model. This one is Mini IT12 with Core i5. The shape is nicer. It's not as tall, but pretty much all the buttons and ports are exactly the same, identical. Link for the product is down below, alongside my discount codes. If you decide to buy it, just bear in mind, you know, the customer service and quality control is not of the highest standards. I would like to thank you all for watching. I would like to thank to all of my channel members and Patreons for their continued support. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.